Allison, thanks. In other news tonight, family and the community now mourning the loss of 10 year old Braden Iden Schink, the Bakersfield boy who suffered complications after receiving a heart transplant less than a month ago. 23 ABC's Emma Lockhart has been following Braden's story since the beginning and has more on his journey and his impact on the community. Emma? Jess, heartbreaking news to learn this morning. Braden touched the hearts of so many people, thousands rooting for him to pull through after receiving his new heart, but he fought until the very end with the community support through it all. 10 year old Braden Eidenschink was a fighter with a smile on his face during the toughest of times. <laughs> he was born a fighter, having his first heart surgery at just 12 days old. It's hard watching your kid fight a battle that you can't, you can't fix. In 2011, he learned that he needed a new heart waiting on a heart transplant list for nearly four and a half years. And on October 10th, Braden got the news he had been dreaming of. He had a match. Braden has something that he wants to tell you all. We have a heart. His mother, Brenda, documenting that moment on the Facebook page, Braden's Brave Heart, that gained over 15,000 followers, taking them through his journey, sharing emotional and raw moments. This picture showing the moment that Braden got to listen to his new heart. But Braden's recovery was full of ups and downs. According to a Facebook post, he faced complications after his surgery that led to him going on an ECMO machine that pumped blood for him. Brenda then shared that all of Braden's organs were failing and his body was rejecting his new heart. His family leaning on their faith and the community for strength. You no, know, we've been asking for prayers, but I am like literally asking like drop to your knees and pray. I spent most of my night last night on my knees. I've been up since 3.30 in the morning at bedside. And the community stepping up, sending prayers, strength, wearing red, and holding a blood drive and fundraiser. All for Braden, with Braden fighting till the very end. He's there, he is mentally there, and he is saying, I love you, and we're telling him stories, and um, he's not really quite able to smile, but you can see, you can see it in his eyes that that's what he's trying to do. Family says he then developed blood clots in his lungs. On Thursday, Brenda shared that Braden passed away peacefully on Wednesday night. Now the community remembers the boy who loved law enforcement, video games, singing, and whose impact on this community will always be remembered. And uh, Brenda posted on Braden's Facebook page earlier today saying, quote, I miss him so much, every ounce of my body hurts. Braden really captured the community with his story, and a lot of people are mourning with his family today. Reporting in studio, Emma Lockhart, back to you, Jess.